UnbelievableBeats.com production. Hi, this is Sean Friedman with UnbelievableBeats.com and Sweetwater.com, musical instruments and pro audio gear. Just wanted to announce that the Mbox 2 finally has ASIO drivers for your Windows 7 systems or any PC system, any third-party DAW, all that good stuff. Uh, you never used to, used to be able to use this Mbox 2 or any of the Mbox family products and now you finally can and let me show you in the FL Studio example um, I can't actually hit F10 on my keyboard because it'll stop the recording so I'm going this way um, alright I got my audio settings and I'm gonna put the link into um, I'll put the link in the description of this video to download it's the version 9 upgrade for the ASIO drivers and I actually tried the version 8 upgrade which was right here uh, it says ASIO DigiDesign driver and that is wrong um, once I downloaded the version 9 it came up with this one right here and this is correct where it says Mbox 2 ASIO DigiDesign driver Mbox 2 bam and it's working perfectly and right now I've got my microphone running through the Mbox 2 into FL Studio because the USB driver is finally working and I'll put that link in the description of the video um, and it actually see that it has the Mbox 2 MIDI working here if you need the MIDI cables um, it's got your ASIO panel for your buffer size so everything is all good here um, for the mixer um, in this scenario with FL Studio that's coming through channel 4 right now um, and this is all good too ASIO DigiDesign driver um, all these inputs input 1 that's where my microphone's coming right now and you got these other things here and yeah here's your stereo inputs yep so that's all good and let's see what else we got here um, as far as the sound card goes through your uh, through other devices or to get things working like I'm doing now with Camtasia Studio um, you can right click on the volume on Windows 7 and sometimes this whole box is a little funny so make sure you right click you can right click in a blank area it'll say show disabled devices um, just right click and kinda show the disabled and then be careful with this um, I think I write I wrote you can right click on this too and say uh, you know either enable or disable things you don't want to use so I just disabled this uh, sound card here and I think I enabled this um, or something like that and same goes for the recording devices next tab over um, you want to right click and then end up with this DigiDesign Mbox 2 once again and that's all good through your computer um, also the ASIO driver I think you can only use this one program at a time so if, if I'm running FL Studio, um, it's gonna it's gonna be going through the Mbox just fine. But then um, as far as like browsing on the internet, I think I'd have to actually X out of FL Studio. I don't think this ASIO driver can do two things at once. As far as the internet, um, possibly a media player on your computer, and then your DAW. I think it's just one at a time. So anyways, this is finally working. So. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited if they have the Mbox 2 like I have and you don't really use Pro Tools that much. Um, this is great. You can hook up your keyboards, your MPC, microphone obviously, um, and you can also do some outboard compression before um, for recording vocals or guitars or I'm actually going to try to use um, an outboard compressor to uh, test out some mastering compression settings 
So I think you can do that through the mbox too as well, possibly through the uh, digital outs and back in, or um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I think there's some kind of routing you can do through here, um, uh, through the master, and then paste it back in as an audio track. So good luck with your projects and uh, have a good day. Thanks.